This is Julianne. I'm the director of Midwest Educational Therapists and Associates. We've been talking about motivation with a lot of my parents, especially those with adolescents or middle schoolers. And one of the things that comes up is the fact that over and over parents are saying, my child just doesn't seem to care. They can't seem to get things going. Motivation is kind of a tricky thing, but one of our primary concepts that we use is called learn to earn. When you do a learn to earn, this is where an individual figures out that, hey, by my effort, I can get what I want. So in order to do that, you usually have to structure a performance contract with them. Now, a performance contract is really different than the typical contracts that you do with kids. Because in that case, parents say, you're going to be doing this, and if you do this, you'll get that. Or if you don't do this, this will happen. A performance contract is more like an incentive contract that somebody's in sales would do. In this point, what you're doing is you're really working with the child to find out what is it that they would really like to earn, okay? So that was your first step. The second thing is you want to identify certain skills or strategies that would help them be overall successful in their life. One of the things, an example of a strategy or a skill that would help them might be when we're doing our performance contract, we set it up so that it would be no missing work in a certain class, someplace that they're struggling. So let's take an example of this. Let's say your child would like to earn uh, some extra time onto their curfew for your adolescent. So you agree that you're going to pick biology and you're going to have no missing work. Okay, the next step in this would be to help them figure out some additional strategies or again, we can help with strategies as well. Uh, check the Facebook page, we've got a number of them for you. Additionally, then you have to set what's your marker going to be. So it would be, we're going to check it on Thursday, whatever's in or not in on Thursday is what it is. That keeps you away from the argument, well, I turned it in this morning. After that, what you would do is you would say when is and how much. So for example, this is an extra 15 minutes on curfew for Friday and Saturday. It needs to be really clearly specified on how you're going to do it. Okay, now the question comes up, what happens if they don't do it? Okay, if you don't, then you simply haven't achieved it for that week. But again, it all starts over the next week. The important thing here is that it's short periods of time, and if you don't make it, it's easy to retrieve it. People like these kinds of performance improvement because here what you're doing is it's not tied directly to grades, which can be a little problematic for some students, or it may be you just hit a section that you don't get. So you're not penalized and instead you're being asked to work on something that's long term going to be very helpful for you, which is being able to do work completion. Okay. That being said, some parents say, well, my son or daughter doesn't want to do anything. Okay. They don't care. What we suggest then is add what we call a self penalty to your performance contract. And the self penalty is developed by the child and you jointly. For example, one of my favorite self penalties is a young man, and it, this is from the curfew example, that if he didn't get the curfew and he didn't keep up the work completion in his certain class, then he agreed to clean up the dog poop in the backyard for the next week. 
he hated cleaning up after the dogs. He, uh, as his mom always said, he only forgot about making sure that everything was in in biology the one time. So again, it's a balance. What's important to the child? You have to have a specific time. You have to have the accountability, short amounts of time, and a good self-penalty.